Brad, as president of the Maine Charitable Mechanics Association, you must be so excited about this big anniversary coming up and all the changes that are taking place here at the Maine Charitable Mechanics. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, you're referring to the uh, 200th anniversary coming up? Yes. That'll be coming up in 2015, but mm -hmm. you know, obviously with an event like that, you start preparing for it now. Probably the greatest preparation we're doing is, is a strategic plan which, um, as far as we know, is the first time that the association in its nearly 200-year history has uh, undergone a strategic plan. So that's our big event for 2014. And, um, and then, uh, obviously, whatever comes back from that plan will be enacting beginning in 2014, we hope, and in, into the next uh, uh, 200 years. And, and with that um, anniversary coming up, uh, you want people to know what you're doing here and what the the association is all about. And a big part of it um, are the travel lectures. That's right. That's, that's probably another anniversary that we should mention. This is the 101st season of a uh, year of doing uh, travel lectures here in Portland. The Maine Charitable Mechanic Association has been doing them here. These travel lectures are really, really interesting. Um, they involve people who go around the world and shoot professional fo film footage of uh, various places, anywhere from Italy to France to Africa. Right here in the United States, like Yellowstone Park, we have a uh, lecture coming up later this, uh, next year actually, on San Francisco. Um, uh, my favorite is coming up here though in another couple of weeks, or coming up shortly, uh, and that'll be on Eastern Canada, It'll be the Maritime Provinces and Newfoundland. And we have a couple of professional uh, lecturers that are coming in to give that uh, tour, it's, it's, what's nice about that is it's an easy one that almost anybody in Maine can take afterwards if they're interested. If you've been there already, you might want to come up and see some uh, familiar sites that are on it. That's coming up on Monday the 18th of November. Well, that one sounds especially exciting to me. I lived in Nova Scotia many years ago and had my first child there. But you're right, you can drive to those locations from Maine very easily. And the, uh, the other big thing is we may be having the ferry again. Hey, there you go, Leslie. And so, you know, the people who, who haven't been able to go for a long time, it will open up the world to them. Yes. Um, so tell us a little bit about some of the things they'll be talking about in that lecture. Well, it, it'll be the typical, all the, the, the prime scenery of, of the maritime province, provinces, um, PEI, um, part of Quebec, um, uh, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, and New Brunswick. And uh, as you know, there's everything from the reversing falls to the highest tides in the world, highest tide change in the world, um, the uh, beautiful Cape Breton Islands, uh, Prince Edward Island, which is probably best known for Anne of Green Gables, and of course, Newfoundland. Mm -hmm. Where the Vikings came to Lansa Meadow. There you go. <laughs> and, and people go um, to Catherine McCauley to hear, the, to see these. Great point. Things. That lecture takes place at the uh, auditorium at Catherine McCauley High School on Stevens Avenue. The lectures start at 7.30. If you're a member of Maine Charitable Mechanic Association, the lecture is free. If you're not, it's only $5 per person to attend. These are great lectures. They start at 7.30. We'll have an intermission after about 45 minutes or an hour and then continue after that. But um, you know, when you, when you think about where can you go anywhere for $5 today for that kind of entertainment, you can take your family. If you are a senior, you can get in actually for $4. And the seats are comfortable. Oh, they're very comfortable <laughs> and beautiful. Um, you know, you can't miss. I mean, it, it's all auditorium style, so there are no bad seats in the auditorium at all, Leslie. Well, I'm looking forward to going if I can, and um, I know that our viewers will, will want to go, and there'll be information there about the upcoming films. Thank you. And again, it's an opportunity to, to see an area that's drivable. Um, a lot of people, a lot of our people from Maine have been there, um, but to hear some real professionals uh, narrate the, uh, the, the film footage. Well, thank you, and look forward to seeing this. Thank you, Leslie. All right.